Hey guys, it's Doug here, and welcome to the 8th episode in my Iron Man Progress video series. Major goals have been achieved ever since I stopped doing the medium clue grind I mentioned in the last episode, as I've started training Slayer to gain some combat levels. I achieved 65 defense first, then went on to finish the King's Ransom quest for access to Chivalry Prayer, which makes using melee when slaying and just killing things in general much smoother. Um, for that, I had to like tick fight the guys, well, not tick fight, but flinch them. I stand around the dummies and kind of just like step out every once every like 10 seconds it was really painful it took like half an hour but I did end up getting through it so now I do have access to the chivalry pair and as soon as I hit 70 then I'll be able to do the higher one as well after achieving this I went on to get 64 strength in hopes of being able to go for a defender with a combined 130 in strength and defense in the warrior guild only to learn that it needed to be 130 combined in attack and strength Despite this, I went on slaying until I hit I 70 strength. I can't believe I'm about to get 70 strength off of crawling hands. Wow. Then went for 70 defense while I went for the defender. I ended up getting a rune defender from having no defender and about 600 tokens, which is fairly nice considering I started with 1300. But the dragon defender from the basement took around 1200 in itself. So now that I have achieved 70 defense and a dragon defender, I am that much closer to having near decent melee tank gear as I can now wear my Guthans legs as well, albeit they kinda do look janky with climbing boots, but that'll change soon with Slayer. Along with these combat levels, I did achieve 85 combat, meaning I now have the minimum combat requirement for the quest cape. So what am I up to now? Currently I'm getting the last stat I need for the quest cape, that being 60 smithing, by smithing my mithril bars I obtained from the blast furnace to make mithril darts. Mithril darts are probably going to be some of the best things I could smith with mithril being that I can use mithril darts down the line as ammunition for my blowpipe and not to mention the dank ass fletching xp that comes with it. I believe it's 125 per 10 so being that I am going to make 13k in unfinished darts. But apart from 60 smithing I also did achieve 60 fire making from 50. I did get 70 wood cutting. I learned that I could boost it up to 71 so I didn't want to get it to that ugly 71 number. 70 just looks... Everything else is good to go. I have probably about, I don't know, um, I think around 65 more quest points worth of stuff to do, which isn't too bad considering I already have 185. But once I finish the quest cape, the next few goals I have down the line in the near future consists of getting 72 Slayer for the Wyvern grind and also so I can start collecting essence for the cosmic runes I'll have to make for the Fury grind. In collaboration with the Fury Grind, I'll also be going for 70 prayers so I can do the Mauritania 3 Diary for more runes per Barrow's chest. And since I'm 70 defense now, I might as well start grinding Barrow's anyway, right? I also have a couple of other exciting stuff to talk about in about a month's time from now, uh, that being July 18th. Uh, I will be moving into my own apartment and that will give me a lot more freedom and stuff like that. I know my videos have been relatively short, relatively sparing uh, every couple of weeks, but I'll be able to have, well, build my own little gaming setup there where I'll be able to actually spend more time and create better things in the future. But as for now, I thank you guys for sticking around and keeping up with my progress. Um, if there's anything you guys want to know, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave it down in the comment section below. Inbox me to YouTube or even PM my NubDug account in-game, and I'll be happy to get back to you. Uh, so anyway, I'll talk to you guys in Bye!